All right, hello. So uh, Pipedrive is a really great CRM and it has tons of great features. Um, one feature that I do hear some people complain about every once in a while, though, is Pipedrive's email signature. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it takes uh, HTML um, or any type of you know custom configuration. Uh, it only takes kind of plain text, or you can copy and paste maybe like an image or, or pictures into it. Uh, so, for example, like that is you know when you go to create your email signature, right? You can do that by being in a deal file. Uh, and then you click signature, right? When you click signature, you can just copy and paste um, a signature maybe that you've created in Wise Stamp or another one of those uh, e email signature uh, composers that create these, you know, nice, clean uh, signatures that might include your, your company logo or your profile picture, and then your name, your contact information, uh, your company email, stuff like that. I just like what we have here, right? And when we go to send an email, you know, that email signature will always be added um, to, you know, your email at the bottom. So now the palm that we're getting, and I'll show you in just a second here, is that when we actually send the email, the receiver gets something that might look like this, right? You have all these boxes around your signature. It does not look clean. Uh, and so naturally the best option is just to maybe paste plain text or put, you know, paste the picture above and then put the text down there below. Well, uh, there is a way that I've been able to solve it for myself and a couple other clients. I know walk through it right now. I've done it in some of my demo accounts, but not in this one. Uh, so this will be a live, um, a live kind of tutorial live walkthrough right here. So I'm going to take away my camera here uh, and we'll just look at um, the steps or the process I go through in order to get rid of those black lines or gray lines around the signature boxes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up that signature that I got um, say from you know the test email I sent, right? So I'm just going to copy it as is Control C or, or you know, right click and hit copy and go to a Google document. And in the Google document, I am going to paste it. Control V or just right click and then paste, right? right so once we have this, we can get rid of all the additional text around it. I just want to get to the box itself. And my first step is actually, I want to combine things in as little space as possible, um, which means let's get rid of as much as these of these boxes as possible. So I'm going to get rid of this column here, um, and we're just going to hit delete column. Uh, and let's see if we can just copy and paste the text, control C, paste. And let's do that again with the website. And then see if we get lucky and we can also do it with the um, LinkedIn logo. And let's see if we're somehow able to move this over. All right, so we have it all moved over. Uh, maybe we can fix the line spacing, right? So let's go to line spacing. Let's go to single. All right, and that looks all right, right? It's not, maybe not exactly what we had before, but it's very similar. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see if I can get rid of a couple more of these columns and spaces. So let's uh, see if we can uh, delete this table. And also uh, delete these two sections as well. Let's shorten up the signature, right? All right, and I think this is the best that we can do. Now, again, this isn't going to be 100% exactly what you had before, but it's going to get you a lot closer than anything else that I've tried, either with any of my clients' accounts or with any of my demo accounts as well. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to change the uh, border color, right? So we're going to change it to white because, again, the, the fact is, the simple fact is that with Pipedrive's email signature as it is now, uh, there's no way to get rid of those boxes, right? We, 
you know, there's no formatting thing that we can do uh, other than kind of paste it as a table. But what we can do is we can try to hide these lines. Let's put it to white. All right, so we've got pretty much everything that we need in Google Docs. I'm just putting, you know, just to make sure I'm, I'm grabbing the whole entire table, I'm gonna copy and paste everything that I just put on the page there. I go back to uh, the signature in in uh, pipe drive, right? So click the email signature. I'm gonna paste what I just put in there. Get rid of those extra dots I put in there just for show. Okay. See if we can move this up a bit. And there we go. Okay. So as you can see here, it's not 100% perfect and faithful to the original, but it's pretty much as close as we can get, right? So uh, there might be some additional, you know, formatting things that you can do, but what I just want to show you now is just how to get rid of those black lines, uh, you know, those boxes around your signature when you copy and paste from a, a signature uh, maker like Ystamp. Um, and let's set it, see if we save it here. All right, so you see it comes up pretty much what it was before. Photos a little bit down below. That might be something you won't be able to fix later. Run a test number two. All right, and I'm going to send it to myself. Let me find it in my inbox. All right, and you can see right here, test two. It came in correctly. Uh, again, formatting is as close as we can get uh, for now uh, using Pipedrive Signature and the boxes, while they're still there, right, uh, they're hidden. Now. I haven't fully tested this yet. I haven't uh, seen if people have, for example, a dark background uh, in Gmail or in another yeah, email server like Outlook, uh, if the lines will not show. Um, but I think this is the best that we can get so far uh, until Pipedrive continues to improve its uh, signature feature within, within the CRM itself. Uh, if you have any questions about this or if you would like help um, creating this in uh, for your own company and each of your own users, uh, me and my team will always be more than happy to help. My name is Matthew Isalis, and I am the owner of iSell Solutions, and you can reach out to me either right here on YouTube or at Matthew at iSalesSolutions.com. I hope this was helpful. Expect a lot more Pipedrive demos and tutorials for you guys. Um, leave a comment if you have a specific uh, other problem you're having with Pipedrive, and uh, I can see if I can tackle it and try to fix it for you.